Hello everyone, this is Shadow Dragon recording from the test server because you know how it goes in DCUO, it's just one event after the other now. So now we're up to St. Patrick's Day, uh, which is probably gonna play musical chairs with Valentine's Day, which goes down March 5th because I, it was like delayed or something. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's why it's ending March 5th, and I, I imagine this one's going to go up right after. So let's take a look at the items here. Um, there have already been several videos, so I'm, I'm doing this late. Um, but what I usually do anyway um, is we're just going to play around with all the base items and see where they could possibly go. Uh, so let's look at the feats. Um, I actually haven't seen any of the videos about this, so I don't know uh, what's involved in this event and if they added anything. Okay, so this is in chronological order if you're new to the game. So all the new stuff is at the bottom. Uh, we had the rocks last year, and then there was um, a two-piece style feat. So it's just these bottom two here. So this year it's just a single style. The let's see, Druid Antler style. So it sounds like it's going to be horns. Now with this being one, one piece, we'll see what we get at the vendor. If it's a style only, um, if it's expensive. And then the six item feet for the base items. It was six last year. And from all the other events we've had this year, um, they, they have been reducing the base item feed, um, probably based on feedback. Because obviously we don't want to collect them all, and we don't want to collect the League Hall item just to get a feed. So this works out well. Six is nice and comfortable. Do I have a teleporter? I don't have a teleporter. Ah, yes, I do. I, I just didn't set anything up on this character, but I, I wanted to do it on a different character that had a more empty base because, I, you know, the, the others are kind of messy at this point. Alright, St. Patrick's Day is in the Watchtower. Oh, do I have currency on this guy? Okay, that's a hundred. And we're at two hundred. Okay, so this this is new. Shamrock Uplink Strike. Okay, I did see a video on this. Okay, so there's no feat for this. It's just pretty much a skin for your orbital. So let's grab that. And how about this? The, the Antlers is just a style item. And it's only 15 Clovers. Th this has to be the easiest event style feat. And then for the new items, we've got Celtic Rock Bear, Eagle, Group, Leaning. These are probably just like rocks in different formations. So Rocking Chair and a Stove. And starting here is all the old stuff. So there's not much to this. Yeah, all this is old. Uh, 
Uh, first of all, let's make sure I could get an orbital. Okay, at least I did set up the mainframe. And he does have a utility belt. Alright, so let's put the shamrock orbital in. And there's a style feet. And the six base items. So this is a standard event. Um, so yeah, 10, 10 feet points for style and another 10 for base items. This is like going back to the old days. They didn't add anything additional. Um, okay, I didn't unlock free placement, but that's okay. These are all rocks anyway. So this will match the the stag and the fox from last year. And let's put the stove in here. Let's look at the style. So there you go. If you if you ever want to make a <clears throat> a stag or deer inspired tune. I bet you can mix this with some of the animal skins and kind of get it to look more realistic. Although you have to choose like a cat or dog. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the base items. We got a rocking chair, green cloth. The rocks are going to be nice combined with last year's style when, when you're creating those outdoor environments as well as the two animals. I kind of wish the, the stove's pipe continued higher up. And then they would just al allow it to clip into the ceiling, um, like some of the other items. Um, I think we had the culinary stove that kind of continues up and then there's another there's another furnace type thing that has a large pipe that continues up but I guess you could put something in the ceiling to kind of connect connect this all right but the reward items don't look too flashy but they're, they're just good for building um, especially combining with last year All right, now for the orbital strike. So let's aim for the center target. Should I zoom out? Maybe I should zoom out. I want to see as much of this as possible. Okay, so that, that pretty much looks like the regular orbital, except there's like a pot and then the, the main beam that comes down is a rainbow. And it animates quickly. Um, they've definitely taken that feedback in there with uh, you know, the Zeus trinket that kind of makes everything freeze up. So I think this one looks okay. And it's kind of like a, a humorous orbital. Um, 
I'll probably collect it on like a couple of characters, but uh, at a hundred, I, I don't, I'm probably not going to be buying too many of those. Okay, uh, that's it from here. Those are all the rewards for this St. Patrick's Day. So um, definitely take a look at each of these items and plan what you're going to get. Alright, that's it from here, and thanks for watching.